Well done, Nigel. Have a little shunt around. Now, this is our UN Nations Man HX. You what, sorry? Oh, it's got all the radio rack in it still. Now, we've had a few of these Man HXs and um, the prices have gone up quite dramatically. But there was one auction over Christmas and uh, I think all the big boys who were the, uh, the main buyers, I think they were all holidaying. And one way or another, I got a few. I think he's just pumping the brakes up. Probably went to Somalia or Mogadishu or something like this. Now it hasn't got the canvas tilt on the back, but I think 90% of people who buy these, in fact, I think everyone, they're making them into overland campers. So the last thing you want is the canvas. And if there is anyone who's um, got a canvas with a rip in it, don't go mad having it repaired and costing a lot of money. Just wait till everyone starts selling their sheets of canvas on eBay. It's quite tidy. We had a slow puncher on one wheel, so we've swapped one tire. I'm not sure where they put the wheel, but uh, it's about somewhere. Yeah, paint works bad because the army, they're not really worried about longevity or anything when it comes to a, a paint job. They just swap on the white. Now I'm guessing we could um, either steam clean it off, but it'll probably end up red or blue anyway. I'm not looking at the paint, I'm looking for damage. I'm looking for bent bits, buckled bits. Those bits there are quite easy to knock over. That's a footrest. And I can see something's not quite right on one of them sides. But uh, I bet that'll be an easy fix with, um, with a digger bucket, just gently tug that over. It's even got an eyelet on the corner where we'd have to pull it from. Yeah, I bet we can sort that out nicely. Now when the brakes are built up, Mr. Smith is going to um, drive it around the yard a bit. Oh, here we go, nearly ran me over. Now hopefully you won't get mud in my yard because we've got plane in, so we do try and keep them tidy. Yeah, well there you go, it drives. Sounds very smooth. Probably a good idea leaving the hazard lights on with Nigel. The way he drives a lorry. He loves lorries. He spanned my tractor, that one there once when I was in it on the road. Scared the living crap out of some bloke in a Vauxhall. Yeah, I can't see us having any more of these. They've gone really pricey now. But anyway, there we go. He's going to hit his own discovery now. Yeah, we'll have a little chat, see if we can see any faults. We're not experts on these at all, but um, if anything becomes apparent. Yeah, it looks straight enough on the body. I'm not sure what the miles is, but I'm sure that's in the advert. Have we got the battery cover? Have a look in the back. No, it doesn't look like we've got a battery cover, I'm afraid. That's where you keep your sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> you get that with the diesel. There is a little dent on this, a little one there. But um, no reason why you can't just unbolt it and tap that out gently. That'd be very easy. Mesh taps out incredibly easily. Might even do it with your fingers. Yeah, it's quite tidy. 
I'll have a look inside the cab. No splits in the driver's seat. That's always the bit that gets the wear. No splits in any of the seats. He's still got his blinds in, which is nice. Um, mileage. Is that 120? Or is it 12? I don't know. Refuel. A little bit low on a uh, little bit low on fuel. But yeah, all very tidy. All the radio racking, air conditioning. Nothing broken, nothing missing. Sounds very smooth. Anyway, that's the mileage, you'll have to decide what that is. Do you think that's 12 or 120? 120. Yeah, 120,000 uh, kilometers. Which I suppose in kilometers on a big diesel like this is bugger all. Bugger all. Probably do 500,000 kilometers, wouldn't it? Should we turn it off, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Now. Now, I don't think we've got any power in the battery. Oh, there is a bit. Yeah, it does charge. Yeah, it is charging. It is charging, but not enough to start it. Um, did you feel any faults when you're driving it? No, no, no. Went up the gears, lovely. Well, there you go. What does that mean? Yeah, maybe it's because the key's left in. God, goodness knows. Oh, you turn the battery off there, do you? Yeah, very cool. Well, there you go. You could do it with a clean, but um, everything's there. Radio racking, didn't it?